What's up everyone, Michigan1777 here. I had put a video up yesterday. Um, I was going to show my HDR settings and everything else. And unfortunately I got taken down due to some copyright. So I'm going to find it. I found some non-copyright material so that I can make that video again. Um, essentially this is off of YouTube. So it's going to be using HLG or hybrid log gamma, but my HDR 10 and hybrid log gamma settings are basically the same. I'm still working on Dolby vision currently, but basically I'm just going to go through the settings right now and show you what I have as well as that. I'm going to show you the cheat to unlocking brighter, uh, the brightness on this TV. I've seen more than enough times hearing reviewers say, well, this TV can only reach peak brightness when, you know, in vivid mode. But we have to remember that these reviewers and a lot of people are the purists and they do not like to use video processing. I'm the opposite. I'd much rather use more processing. I'm not a purist by any stretch of the imagination. So these are my settings to get that peak brightness as well as great color. So I'm going to turn the picture on now. I don't know let this run through. So this is Peru 8K. Um, I played this as a demo um, in one of my first A90J videos. And you can see that the specular detail is very, very bright right now. So I'm going to go through my settings here and let you know why I'm doing what I'm doing. So for picture mode, I have it on custom. I have ambient light sensor off. Brightness, I have on max. Contrast, max. Gamma, negative one. I have it on brightness preferred. Um, this one, I mean, if you want to unlock some of the peak brightness, you're definitely going to want to do the brightness preferred. Um, the kicker with brightness preferred is you are going to lose specular detail on some of this level. Um, I like it popping off the screen, so if I lose some detail in the clouds, that's okay with me. Black level, I have it at 50. Black adjust, I have on low. This right here is the key to unlocking the brightness to this panel. Advanced Contrast Enhancer. You're going to get much brighter whites coming off of the TV if you use this. You can see as I'm doing it real time that it's going to adjust. And the picture just goes from... I mean, it, it already looks great without it, but when you do switch it on, especially on medium... Especially on medium, I think is the happy middle ground because sometimes in like a full scene uh, like this or if there's a subject in the forefront, it can kind of throw things off a little bit and make the subject lose focus. I think advanced contrast should be on medium if you want that extra brightness out of the TV. Peak luminance, I have on high. For color, I have it at 55. Hue, I have it at zero. Expert one for the color temperature. And then I have live color on low. I find live color on medium kind of introduces that Samsung effect. So if you're really into those popping colors, medium to high is going to be what you're wanting. You can, I don't know if you can pick that up on the screen or not, but essentially I like mine on low. Clarity, I have sharpness at 50. Reality creation on auto. Random noise reduction is off. Digital noise reduction, off. And I have smooth gradation off. The gradation on this TV is already fantastic. And then for me, this is all down to preference. I like motion handling. So for me, my motion flow settings are on custom with smoothness at max and then Cinemotion on high. And then for video signal, I just have everything on auto. So I'm going to go back here in just a second, try and there's one scene in here that I really do want to pull back to that I, it's basically a cloud scene. Where'd you go? Hmm. I love when this happens. You try and seek a video and you can't remember where the scene is that you need. There it is. So yes, right here. This is where you're going to start seeing the detail um, change a little bit. I'm going to turn that contrast enhancer back again and show you. So basically, first brightness preferred. If you switch down to gradation preferred, you might be able to pick up the little bit of detail gained back in the clouds. And then if you turn it off, it remains basically the same. But this will, you can see the clouds gain a little bit more detail. And you might no notice it more in this area right here. 
it's getting more and more washed out not even washed out it's just less detailed but i do like that um, because i think the picture pops a lot more with advanced contrast enhancer on medium if you want your tv to more, look more like an led tv that's the way to do it now i'm going to go forward later into the video as well um, there's some scenes with the yeah, other people just to show you some of the color that this TV can produce and how natural it can look. <clears throat> I love, this is my favorite demo by far. But yeah, the reds are extremely detailed. The gradations of color in this TV are fantastic. I think Sony is one of the best for gradations of color. Um, each color has its own um, look, I guess. It doesn't... I find a lot of times with LG and Samsung that you can kind of lose color um, gradation or sometimes greens will look too similar, especially on Samsung TVs. A lot of times the colors will look too similar and it looks almost too unnatural. So for this, it looks a lot nicer. Now it is to be noted as well, you might see a little bit of shift in the video. OLEDs tend to be a little bit more blue when you're capturing them on video. so. Please note that it's going to be a little bit warmer than what you're seeing on camera. And also note, um, I did decrease my exposure just a smidge for this. Um, so what you're seeing on screen might look like there's a little bit of black crush or something, but I can tell you that is not on the screen. It is a very detailed picture. Even in the black levels, this is a scene. I love the colors on their clothing. It just pops off the screen. It's just beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to move over into another demo and kind of show you what that advanced contrast enhancer is going to do. All right, so this one's a classic. It's from the A1E. I do still think this is one of the best OLED uh, uh, demo samples that you can get. And I just love the color and the amount of detail that this um, picture is producing. But these colors just pop off the screen. It is just a gorgeous picture. I'm going to go back for a second here. I'm going to pop in that contrast enhancer in a second here and show you what the full field effect is on these. Okay. Gosh, YouTube. Come on, YouTube, help me out here. I'm going to have to be quick about it. Yeah, you can see it. It, it. I think this adds a lot more color depth, personally. Like, go, going from low to medium, the colors pop. It is really a beautiful picture. You can see even when I do it on the fire how much more bright the scene gets. Just wow. That's all I can say. I, I wish you could be in the room to see this. If you do not own this TV, this, this, sam this demo is just incredible. The specular detail just pops off the screen. It's amazing, especially with the advanced contrast enhancer on. See, and that's the thing. So my phone is only able to record a thousand nits. You might be picking up on the cap, basically, on my phone, because I'm I'm basically recording an HLG, um, but. It has to be going over a thousand nits on some of these samples just by using that contrast enhancer. You'll you'll see the glass blowing section here where it shows a specular detail that my HDR is actually cutting off the detail in the specular. You can see it right there. Adjust that my white balance and my white point for HDR and everything else can't actually fully capture what you're seeing on screen, which is just crazy.
That's my parents' grandfather clock. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I have another final sample I can give, but for the most part, I mean, I think I've shown you what I needed to show you. All right, and then this was last one here is for the LG OLED. I'm sorry, you're going to see my door over here. It's a reflection. I can't help that. Very natural looking colors. Um, that's something that I really just, I love on this TV, even with the advanced contrast and answer up, brightness preferred and all that. There's just so much depth. And you can see as I adjust the contrast and answer, it just really peaks out the details. It really peaks out that white point too. Now, once again, I'm not a purist. So for a lot of people, this might not look good for them. Um, I don't mind. I like that my TV looks like this. I think processing should be used and I think it should be used accordingly and I really do like this. But yeah, there's a ton of detail. There is not black crush in this. I want to be completely clear with you about that. There's none. But yeah, you can see the details even on the water droplets as they go through. Yeah, the colors just pop off. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm going to finish up this video, let you guys just enjoy it. Um, once again, it's best if you watch this video in HDR. I ask that you also like this video, subscribe if you could, um, that I'd be really appreciative of. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to talk to you about my settings and why I have them that way. And um, I think I'm the only person recording A90J videos in HDR still, so hopefully this is more of um, an easy way for you to see what's going on so that if you can't see the TV in person, you can recognize that. I'm not lying to you. This TV does have potential to unlock the peak brightness outside of vivid mode. But yeah, that's it. Have a great evening, and I'll finish up this video.